everyone this is dr jyoti bala i hope you all are doing great so in this session we will be discussing about a very important database which is called as campbell so if you are working on small molecule chemical compound phytochemical drugs this will be a very important session for you i will be giving you one hands on tutorial a demo also here so let's start the session Campbell is a manually curated database which contain millions of data related to chemical compound substances metabolite drug candidate phytochemical small metabolite so if you are a new or a beginner participant you may use this url and then you can explore this database here you will get target binding data you will also get functional assays data if you require pharmacokinetics toxicity kind of data this is also present and if some candidate has been studied or has been investigated at clinical stages clinical stages that data will be also present so patent data clinical status data structure physicochemical properties everything will be present here so once you will start searching and exploring this in uh, campbell database either you can uh, do the search for your chemical names or maybe you can draw the ligand and substance and compound information and then you can search or maybe if you want to search for the target protein for which you wanted to see what kind of molecules and drug has been investigated and shown the interaction with your targets for your different bio medical and biological experiments so both way you can do the analysis what kind of information you will get what kind of uh, data you will get so as we have shown you in ncbi pubchem tutorial many features will be similar but here additional features are also there so structure data clinical status physicochemical properties your in cell canonical smile informations will be present if you want to download these files so that is also present like i have shown you in the pubchem there are different subset and depending on our needs we can do further detail analysis so similarly here you will get these kind of subsection and depending on your needs you can click here and get the detail information few features are only present in campbell which were not present in the uh, 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 pubchem so i would always encourage to use both the uh, databases so that you will understand your ligands and your chemical compound and target in a much better way for your different projects so all these datas will be present similarly physicochemical properties its a uh, hydrogen donor acceptor p log value s molecular weight all these information is present here so while performing our wet lab experiment things will be easier for us and whether this candidate is following lipinski rule or not for pharmacokinetics kind of work everything is present similarly few things are additional features which you will get here like uh, bioactivity assays what kind of assays they have used to show the functional characterization what kind of target here? or uh, either they are binding to protein only or enzymes receptor at gene level or transcript level so all these all those sort of datas are present in the target summary what kind of functional assays and bio assays they uh, people has uh, utilized to shown these activities so bioactivity data assay datas and target datas will be present and if uh, in bioactivity you will see different kind of experimentations and if you will click here you will get the values also like ic values what kind of experimentation people has done what kind of cell lines they have used many time they will show you tissue datas also if it is present so these uh, datas are available here they will also provide you the list of targets in the target prediction section so your ligands and the chemical substances could bind to different proteins and different targets and biomolecules what other scientists and researchers are doing and validating these uh, these will be present here so if you will click here you will be taken once you will click the specific target protein you will be taken to a new page where they will provide you target report card here now they will give you detail analysis about the target protein its activity function 3d structure which you can utilize for your further 
applications and project and analysis. So here also we will get different subset and by clicking here we can get the detailed information about your target. So one way is that by doing your chemical compound analysis you will get the information about what are the possible targets and what other people are doing in terms of your ligands and target interaction and based on your interest you are clicking some specific target and coming to this page. You may either type the target name in the search page also and then you can find out what kind of ligands to that target people are investigated and have found information. So while performing the analysis, both way you can do the analysis. You can directly do the ligand and chemical compound name search or maybe target search. So let's do one demo over here. So let's do one analysis. So this is a Campbell page. By using the URL which I have shown you in the previous slide, you can come to this page and you can see millions of chemical compounds, substances, information is already present along with the bioassays and clinical status. We also get structure information and other bioassays related data also. So we will do these hands-on tutorial here. If you are a beginner, you can do the analysis uh, and uh, you can use this platform in two ways actually. Either you can directly source the chemical compound and the substances by name, or you may draw that. Or maybe if you know the targets for which you wanted to find out the uh, for probable ligands which could bind to those targets and what people has worked related to that particular target. So like in my Uniprot and gene card analysis, I've shown you BCL2 analysis, which is a protein which is involved in cancer. So if I wanted to see for BCL2, what kind of drugs people has targeted in research areas, so I can find out the target uh, name here and I can search those things. Or maybe if I have to find out some particular chemical compound or substances which bind, which could bind to a particular target and thereby having some therapeutic activity. So by ligand name also we can find out and by target names also we can find out. So let's first try with the ligands. So in my PubChem analysis, I think I've shown you with a ferrin A. So let's take the similar uh, example. So you can find out and you can compare also what kind of additional features we are having over Campbell in comparison to NCPI PubChem. So once you will type out any substance chemical compound name, then you will get this kind of similar compounds and uh, substitute related data also along with your main chemical compound report. So we have to go to this compound Campbell for with the frame. So once you will come to this page, uh, similar to NCBI PubChem, we have different features. Depending on how much information we require, we can individually click on these section so that we can get the information about Vitafarin. Vitafarin, as I mentioned in my previous video, is having beneficial role as an antiviral, antimicrobial, anti-cancer, it has preventive and beneficial role in neurological disorders also. So a lot of uh, biomedical data are already present here. For drug designing related project, you might be requiring structure data also. So structure data are also present here. And if you will click here, if you want similar data also related to that, or maybe you want to modify this chemical compound and then search whether it is present or not. So all those things is also possible here. So here, uh, what is the status of vitafarin in terms of clinical trials and all these things is present here. And uh, if you want to get the canonical smile, incel, incel key, these information is also present here, along with the mall file and different file format. These file uh, and these uh, namings and these kind of information will be required if you are going to do further analysis in terms of pharmacokinetics, ADME predictions, toxicity prediction, because in my upcoming slides, I will be showing you all those tools. When we are predicting these kind of parameters for our different project, they will require you to give this kind of information. Maybe sometimes they will ask you smile information, incel, incel key and all these things. 
So from here, you can import these information and do the further analysis also. Then, as we have shown you the names, the classification, and these kind of uh, literature and everything, you will get it here also. But few additional things which is not pres present in NCBI, these things you can very easily get it from here, like target prediction if you want for your protein, oh, sorry, for your chemical compound, like which protein, which target they are interacting with. So here you can see the names of the proteins where this with a friend is binding and what kind of role it is having. So from here, you can get it at the ideas, like what kind of protein it is uh, binding. So target information it is going to give you. If you go to this activity chart, not only the target. So as we know, nowadays, most of the biomedical scientists and other scientists they are not only targeting protein. We are in omic data time. So drug interaction with your DNA, RNA, receptor, enzymes, everything is feasible in a current time. So here, the, your drug interaction with enzymes at structure protein level, sometimes non-coding RNA level, everything different depending on what protein, what chemical we are doing in the analysis. These features and these targets will be present for your uh, ligands. Similarly, how people are doing the activity, bioactivities, what kind of assays they are doing to prove those activities. So bioactivity data by using different experimentation, they have found out the IC values. If you want detailed values about those things, you just have to click here and you will get the values also, the experimentations also. So bioactivity, assays, target, all these information is present here. Okay, so color coding also and this thing also. So these information, you can get it from here. If your work requires similar compound related to vitaferrin, because then the chances will be the, their activity will be also similar sometime if you want to use these things for further analysis. So if you want similar compound with better properties, you can, search these similar compound also. What is the clinical status? These information is also present here. So these things also you can get it from here. So structure data, target data, publications, everything is present here. So you can try this page along with the physical chemical properties and compare the PubChem and Campbell also. Hope the session was relevant for you. If you have liked the session, I would request you to like, subscribe and share the information. If you have any queries and if you want to learn these things, you can approach me and drop me a message also. And uh, do share these information among your scientific endeavor also. Thank you so much.